Today we are here at the Ski Museum of Maine. It's located in downtown Kingfield and it's up on the second floor. And we have Pete Weston who is the VP of the uh, museum, uh, Ski Museum of Maine. How are you, Pete? I'm doing great, but it's not the Ski Museum of Maine anymore, by the way. What is the official title now? Now it's the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum, a yep. big change. We have changed it. Uh, we really want to be inclusive. Uh, Seth Westcott kind of brought it to our attention that we were missing out on about 25% of the people who enjoy this sport. Uh, we talked about it and said, you know, you're right, we need to be inclusive. So we are now the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. I remember that discussion. That's great <laughs> That's that it right. did come to this. It right? did. Yeah. And it was, he was absolutely right. We definitely yeah. needed to do this. So uh, we haven't, this is kind of, a, we just voted on it. We'll probably have a big uh, to do this fall to, to make the announcement. But uh, yes, yeah, so it just changed. Well, congratulations. Big changes. Also, lots of big changes here inside with the displays and all the new things that you have here. Can you tell us when you're open now that uh, things are a little different? So uh, things have been a little fluid as far as timing goes. Tell us when people can come and enjoy uh, the ski museum. Uh, the ski, give me the Main, <laughs> Main Ski and Snowboard Museum. Tell us when people can come and enjoy the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 3, but we're also open by uh, private tours for appointment. Just call up the museum at 265-2023 and, uh, or to go on the website. It's still the ski museum of Maine.org. We haven't got that changed right. yet. Just go on the website and the phone number's there or the email. Just get a hold of Teresa Shanahan, who's the executive director. And she will schedule a, a, a private tour for you if you'd like to do that. Or just come by anytime, 10 to 3 on Monday through Friday. And, of course, uh, what is the charge to get in? Oh, no, I had to bring that up. I did. Uh, you got to go up instead of flight of stairs. That's, yep. that's pretty much it. After that's that, it. <laughs> yeah, after that, you're free. Yeah. Um, and we, we allow five people at a time in here. We're, you know, keeping, uh, being careful. And everybody, we, you know, are, right. are urged to wear a mask. We have sanitizer when you come in. So... Uh, but there's plenty of room here. If you want to come in, I'm sure you'll be very safe in here. So a group could be a family of five or, uh, yep. or an outing or what have you, and uh, just call the number and make reservations for that. If they want to, or just come by regular hours, either way. Fantastic. Yep. And uh, you know you're working on some more projects here coming up. Yes. I mean oh, we, uh, well, in 1971, there was a small event at Shigalov called the World Cup Races. <laughs> it was the only World Cup alpine ski races in the state of Maine so far. And that was 50 years ago. So uh, we are working on a new exhibit uh, to highlight that and we're doing it. It's really going to be interesting. There's a lot of great stories with this. It, it was amazing these folks pulled this off. A bunch of hicks from Maine pulled it off and the, and the people that raced here were just blown away. It really went very well. So we're really working hard to get that put together and that'll be replacing our Maine Olympian exhibit which is here in the center, our temporary exhibit. Uh, it's opening sometime probably December uh, time frame we'll be opening that exhibit up. And that was a fantastic time period, very yeah. historic, and we'll yes. look forward to seeing that here. And of course, all the things that you have now. Yes, oh yeah, we've got a lot of great permanent exhibits. Uh, we've got, uh, what other exhibits we're we working on? Uh, Glenn Parkinson uh, on our board just uh, negotiated a deal. We got $10,000 to work towards a map uh, collection of ski maps. Oh, great. And this is, uh, this is really going to be cool. Uh, he's, he's already has a pretty good collection to start with, but we're looking for ski maps from all the ski areas of Maine, all the way back. Uh, and, we're, and we're not just limiting it to Maine. We're, we're really looking at New England and, and even the world maps mm -hmm. uh, to, to collect and document, put them on our website so people can see them and research them. I mean, they really tell you the history. I mean, you look at the, the ski maps from Sugarloaf 1950 when they had three trails. You know, it's just, right. oh, we have a new trail this year. It's called Tote Road. <laughs> you know, this, this is really cool stuff. And this is a real exciting that we've got this donation. From, came from Dr. Osher down in Portland who uh, heads up the map library at USM. Uh, so this is a real great, uh, great project for us. Things are happening here at the museum. Although it's historic, we're still finding more history out there to discover. Oh, yes. And uh, you can too by coming and visit. And tell us when the hours are once again. The hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. And you can come by for a special appointment anytime you want. Just call ahead and uh, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you very much, Pete West. Thank and you, we gentlemen. appreciate it. All right. <laughs>